Well, hello everyone in Hearts of Iron 4. This is a old version of the game, okay? This is Endseek, but this is an old version. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and defeat the Germans. Well, 1944 looks looks okay. Looks like a small challenge, maybe you guys could think, right? So we're gonna go ahead to the Kampf für das Vaterland in 1944, we'll go ahead, I don't care about that, just get straight into the game. We should defeat the Germans within a few months, guys, is my expectations. So, the Allies have already landed. It's World War II and I have a bunch of bucks. <laughs> okay, cool. So, we have 7.8 million troops, we can invite Xinjiang, that's okay. Guys, by the way, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Would be very greatly appreciated. And uh, what we'll do though is we'll crush this uh, cauldron. You might say, why do we have Lev Trotsky? Well, I guess I think it is 1944 and it is, I think, a little bit. Um, uh, what should I say? Well, we have 430 divisions. I mean, uh, so we should uh, win. No, okay, that was a mistake. Well, we should win the war uh, earlier than. Uh, was the case in in history, guys? I think so. We're gonna crush this uh, cauldron, this uh, which, in fact, survived for a long time. But this won't be the case. Georgi Zhukov will lead, lead it. Uh, where's Georgi Zhukov? Zhukov, 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 Zhukov will lead the front. Uh, we don't have Georgi Zhukov, guys. We really do not have Georgi Zhukov. So this mod, I mean, okay, I mean, this mod is dead. This mod is not being updated anymore. So, uh, well, that makes sense, right? So this mod is not being updated anymore. That means uh, it is kind of a dead. Anyways, we're gonna try to have some fun. Uh, this is also the old version of the game. Uh, like you guys may have noticed already, this is the old version of the game. Not, not a new one, the old version of the game, therefore uh, we don't have many things what we have in the new version of the game. So we're gonna attack the Germans on the uh, entirety of the front line. Here as well. They press Hatai issue. I don't care. Why? Okay, let's just the back. All three removed from power, Hungary fights on. So let's see, uh, well that is quite a bit of focus is bypass, what the hell, what the hell was that? So, uh, well, guys, isn't this an amazing feeling just to see all of these green blobs, all of these green uh, lights across the front line? Isn't this glorious? Isn't that truly glorious? Well, the German losses are uh, far higher than our own losses. That's for sure. Let's just quickly... Um, I don't even know what to do. What do we need? Infantry equipment. We have so many infantry factories. I think artillery, sport equipment, motorized tanks, guys, I don't even bloody know. Well, the front line is stalling some areas, so, uh, but, let's see. We lost 167,000, the Germans lost 345,000, so as long as their losses are higher than our losses, all things are good. Well, the Slovaks have capitulated already we have 12 divisions in Norway very very interestingly I wouldn't have thought that's the case well so let's just assign all of our unassigned divisions to uh, this front line so we can uh, we can basically yes, no have Germany for our cell we have 69 divisions in the Far East, interestingly. Well, I didn't know that. Ivan Konev will lead the charge against the Japanese if time's right. Well, it is January 1945. Let's see when uh, we're gonna force the capitulation of Germany. We lost to our 300,000, they lost a million, so we are completely slaughtering them. Uh, well, I don't even care about this stuff, guys. Let's just finish, let's just conclude the war as soon as possible. And then I'll, let's add a nice speech of Georgi Zhukov at the end as well. Let's just push uh, along that line. 
I mean, yes, an experienced player could probably have won the war earlier, you know, just by doing lots of micromanagement, but well, I, we can't be bothered with that, right? So we have right now one general leading 500 divisions. Yep, one general leading 500 divisions. It's quite an overkill, we could say, for sure. Losses wise, 347,000 the Germans lost with 1.5 million. Well, that's quite the slaughter for the axis, for sure. To say the least, it's just glorious to see how our troops are advancing. But not as fast as I would have uh, wished it to see. So, we, we know the historical capitulation was the 5th of May, right? If I'm not wrong, it was the 5th of May. Let's see when the capitulation will occur right now. And uh, still, okay, we don't have Konstantin Rokosovsky. We have Lev Trotsky as well. Well, as I said, this mod is dead, guys, so... Uh, some buggy things still exist, so that's, that's no surprise. Let's see if we can force our way to Berlin. Let's see if the Allies can li liberate the historical parts before we make uh, them capitulate. Two million! Two million within such a short time span. Okay, we are just pushing straight into Berlin. Oh God, we have captured Berlin. Well, there's one German detachment, but that's a historically uh, faster capture than it occurred uh, the fall of Berlin. And Hitler has killed himself today in this Führerbunker. A Greek tragedy and the fascist layer is ours. And on top we have encircled a very nice amount of German troops. Their losses exploding to 2.3 million. And I think, guys, okay, the game is lagging. I think that is the conclusion uh, of the game. I think there is a scripted event uh, which forces their capitulation and which divides Europe up according to the historical borders and the uh, historical uh, divisions and uh, zones of occupation. So guys, if you ask my opinion about this, this was a good mod, but since it's out of date, I wouldn't suggest it anymore. You can still uh, take a look, of course, you can play other scenarios. What's this? The Yalta Conference. Okay, yes guys, you know, you can uh, take your own look. And uh, that's it, we won it earlier than historically. I hope you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe and a comment down below. It would be... Uh, Great if you turn on the bell, guys, don't forget. So I hope you all enjoyed it and see you all next time. This quick, very quick video of an old mod.